Hi guys, it's your boy Critical Jimmy, and I just want to give you guys a little pointer here yeah? about if you guys looking for as 4 g 63 start and you're not using the original one. Things that could actually go wrong, right? Because I was 4 g 63 in Jamaica and I've been catching my tail, right? Because you see, if you use a different solenoids, some of these solenoids don't use these type of bolts on it, right? It might come with a screw type. <clears throat> if it come with a screw type, that screw type, by the time you turn over the engine once, twice, no matter how tight it is, it is going to loose out. I never use Loctite on it, so I cannot tell you if it would loose out with the Loctite. So you guys, <laughs> if you using a starter with a normal Philippine screwdriver type, I would advise you guys to Loctite it. Because it would come off, and if it come off, it would damage the starter itself, right? It would, because I had damaged the bushing, had damaged a lot of stuff on the big part, and this must be my fifth or sixth starter I am actually on, right? So, and next thing, <clears throat> you don't necessarily have to get the original 4G, 6G starter, the exact one, right? Because this is not... From a actual 4G63, but I notice a Mitsubishi, right? The only thing you have to make sure is that the head lines up like this, right? So if you get one exact looking how this is, and make sure that it is a screen type. If it's a gearbox, using I use gearbox, so this is a screen type screen. You have to pass through the gearbox itself, and then the screening on this section, and screening on this section here, right? <coughs> You guys can see the model of mine case you guys this this head is not off uh, this for this body this the original one was actually this part was on this side here more to the left so i had to get one at more to the right right it have ones on ebay i never bought one on five ebay so it have those options or if you don't have the option to order the money to buy it off ebay and you're looking for one local wherever you live just look, you can look for a substitute. Just make sure that the front looking about like this. Right? Make sure again, if it's a screw, change it and put uh, this type of bolt type. Right? Don't put it too, too tight, straight, straight down. Make sure it's not too long to go straight, straight down because it can make the solenoid piece inside it slip and this part gets slack. The bend it gets slack. And you don't want that to get slack because when you turn over your engine, it will sound like chain pulling, right? So, that is a little tip I would like to give you guys because when i been looking for parts and things for my 4G, I've been getting a lot of problems and a lot of people not that helpful when they come down to 4G stuff. I don't know, it's like they try to keep it a secret, right? They try to keep it a secret for some reason, so I just want to have a channel that I can actually help out people because... I spend a lot of wasteless money trying to figure out and modify stuff and didn't really have much help to be honest with you guys right so you could use any starter bottom but just make sure the top you have a right side top or even if you want a one that spoil if you could just keep this top or go buy electrician your electrician will be able to take out this top here so if you have the right side the electrician will be able to take out this part here and you just have to buy a bottom piece for your starter and they will actually take this top and put it on that bottom piece wherever you get right and you know it is for your boy critical dreams DUI you guys can do it yourself and more videos on my channel that i'll be uploading and peace out enjoy